Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got a rank four for you guys, and this one is a very interesting one. I don't think you guys are going to guess who this is. Now, this is going to be a pretty short video, uh, but this is a blast from the past. So if you think you can figure out who I am taking to rank four, and I have a bunch of rank three champions. If you think you can guess who I'm about to take to rank four, leave it in the comments section below. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Corvus. So I was going through the comments on my... Uh, Alliance War video. And one of the comments really caught my eye. It was from Shrijoy. And he was saying, hey, why don't you use Corvus? He could do those fights. And I had already ranked Corvus up. I just hadn't made this video yet. And I've already used Corvus in war. So the next war video, you're going to see him um, prominently. So the reason that I took Corvus up to four, Corvus benefits from higher attack. So you want your Corvus, if you're going to be using Corvus, you want them at the highest attack. Now, back in the day, um, the way that we would do it is we would boost up, we would run the, uh, recoil masteries and he would go to work. All right. But over time, you know, the health pools got bigger and bigger. And then a six-star Corvus came uh, into the contest. So I took mine up to three. But Hercules came out, and he's been my go-to for Alliance Quest. Previously, it was Corvus. Okay? So, when I asked, and it was... um. I forgot which war it was, but I was asking everyone who is bleed and uh, shock immune because I have a bleed node and a shock node. And the people that I saw um, that I was, you know, having to deal with as defenders, uh, they were switching it up on me so that the only way to use the same champion would be to bring in a bleed and poison, um, bleed and shock immune champion. And so I was like, well, who is? And Terax, he is bleed immune and shock immune. So I said, all right, I ranked Terax up and I used him a little bit in war, um, off, you know, off, uh, season war. And he did okay, but he ran a little slow to me. And he didn't seem to be the best option for who I was seeing on those nodes the most. Ant-Man Future and Nimrod. In both fights, he defeated them, but it took a long time. And I usually lost. Now, this is off-season, so... I wasn't boosted or anything like that. It was just a slow fight, and I just kept getting eaten, bat, you know, down, whittled down, bit by bit until, you know, they got me. All right. So, uh, in the last war, you saw me using Claire against Ant Man Future. That's because I had already experienced the horrible fight using Terax against Ant Man Future on that node. And I thought Claire, you know, she could nullify, but you saw what happened. Uh, if you didn't, go check that video out. It's um, Alliance War Season 44, War Number 1. So I was like, you know what? Corvus, he's not bleed immune, but he doesn't take any damage from bleed. Same thing with shock, which means they can trigger my willpower. Hmm. And I'm like, that might work. And Ant-Man Future 
may have a, a mechanic against nullification or anything, but Corvus does a nice armor break. Now, against Nimrod, you can do the armor break, but it doesn't matter. It, he's not going to, you know, it's not going to really do much against the Nimrod. But against Ant-Man, future, yes. I tried it. Um, I think it was in a, um, it might have been an off-season war. Uh, and it worked. It worked beautifully. Um, I'm trying to think. No, I may have, it may have been the first time uh, in war number two that I did that. And I was a little rusty, haven't used Corvus for a while, but that's where you will see uh, gameplay for Corvus. So look for the next war video and Corvus comes back to war. All right. Anyway, uh, that is going to do it for the video. Um, yep. Just six, six minutes. So shorter than I usually uh, make these videos. So take care. And you all have a blessed day.